So right now I'm out here with our lab group. We're tracking our regular sample of snakes that we track. Um, for my personal project, I am out here. We are swabbing the snakes basically to be able to run a PCR test on the swabs. And basically what that does is that's gonna amplify the DNA on the swabs so that we can quantify basically their infection load. So kind of similar to when you take a COVID test and you take your swab and then they run that to be able to tell you if you're positive or negative. It's a similar concept basically, but for their snake fungal disease. <laughs> and my student Danny Bartlett is, is interested in, in sort of relating the amount of that fungal pathogen on each individual snake to the type of overwintering shelter. And so in this case, this snake was overwintering in a rock pile over here with a couple of other snakes. And so we're interested in not only you know, whether snakes that use rock piles versus stump holes have different kind of fungal loads, but also whether snakes that kind of occupy these communal shelters with multiple snakes as opposed to solitary shelters might also be at a kind of a different risk level for, for kind of exposure to this kind of contagious pathogen. She's like right here. Oh, she's right there, curled under that shrub. You see her? I am working on my thesis research, so uh, we're looking at the movement behavior of this population of rattlesnakes in an attempt to classify or assess kind of the effects of roadways on their movement behavior, but specifically in, during the reproductive season. I have always wanted to work with snakes. In undergrad, I did a lot of undergraduate research. My second publication um, was on snake fungal disease, which is kind of a hot topic in herpetology right now. I mean, the reason I got into herpetology was I've always been interested in animals. I used to volunteer a bunch at Oatland Island in Savannah, and that sort of opened me up to the idea of doing wildlife as my career. I got lucky that Dr. DeSantis was doing exactly what I wanted to do, so it worked out perfect.